Hi everyone, I'm Melanie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this absolutely adorable Christmas gnome bow on this lovely burlap ribbon with a horizontal pattern. A couple of things to notice about the ribbon, it's single sided, so the pattern is only on one side and there is a top and a bottom to the design, so it's a, a horizontal pattern. To make your ribbon you're going to need a chenille stem, a pair of scissors and you may need some florist snips or bunch cutters. And you're also going to need a glue gun. I've measured my strips already and I'll run through the measurements. This strip is for my tails and to make sure I don't get this mixed up with the others I'm just going to quickly dovetail the ends. So just snip diagonally across. I like to fold mine in half and then from the point the, the points here just cut upwards and you get a really nice dovetail effect. I'm not going to mix that up with my other strips now. I've cut five other strips. This is 20 inches long, this is 18 inches long, 16 inches, 14 inches and a small piece of five inches. I'm going to start with my 20 inch strip, turn it so that it's face down. I'm just going to find the centre and position that on this um, 10 inch line here. Okay, so you're going to need to just fold your ribbon over a little and I'm making a loop that is a little over four inches. So I've just gone slightly to the left of this center line. And then do the same thing with this side. So you're going to want another loop that is a little over four inches, about four, four to four and a half inches. And you can see that we've overlapped and then just scrunch the ribbon up and with your chenille stem wrap that around the center and give it a good twist to secure that. Okay we want to make sure before we add our next piece that our gnomes are the right way up and I'm going to take the next largest piece so this one's 18 inches fold in half to find the center I'm just going to place that on a, a line through the on the mat here I'm going to use that line just to help me know where the center is this loop is pretty much four inches and then I'm just going to take this over here make another loop scrunch it together okay and then you can place this on the top here and twist it around okay and then give it a good twist again making sure that everything is the right way up so our gnomes on each layer are the same way up and then this is our 16 inch piece so again find the center and then I'm going to make a loop that is a little under four inches The same thing on the other side, scrunch it together place it on the top of your chenille stem and twist it around okay and with our last piece Again, fold it to find the center. Make a loop that is about three inches, another loop that is about three inches, and then scrunch that together. And again, place it on top of your chenille stem. and twist it around okay. 
Okie dokie. So that's what we've got. For the tails, just fold the tails in half. Find the center. Scrunch it together at the center. And then you can position this on top of the bow. Bring your chenille stem around the back. And wrap it around. And then we can just open out our loops. And then this little five inch piece, I'm just going to glue. And then just glue, run a line of glue along the edge of that five inch piece. And just stick that down so that you've got one of the gnomes facing. Okay. And then this will go at the centre here. So we just want another line of glue along the back. We can just stick that in place there, just to hide all the connections. And then rearrange your loops again.